All right. So today, uh, we'll start working with what's called systems of equations, specifically solving them using what's called elimination. First thing, first, let's start with what we're even talking about in the first place. A system of equations is just two or more equations. One, two. And for the most part, in Algebra 1, that's what you're going to be working with, just two equations. There are some down the road, three, but for right now, most of your systems only have two equations. And please note that each equation has two variables, an x value and a y value. We're going to be solving to find the value of both. There will be, sometimes they ask for just one value, but for the most part, you'll be asked to find both. There are a couple different ways you can solve these, but we're going to solve it using what's called elimination. We can eliminate or remove, that means get rid of, a variable to find the value of the other variable. Easy sometimes, and the other problem is a lot more work. We'll start with a couple of very simple, short and sweet ones, and then try some more complicated ones towards the end. First thing, first example says, solve by elimination. They're asking you to solve this system by elimination. And again, when they say solve, they don't mean find one variable. They want both variables. They want x and y. What we're going to do is we're actually combine or add the equations together to make them cancel one of the variables out. And again, times it will be very quick and very easy. Other times it's a little more complicated. Look at this one right here. We have negative 4x minus 2y equals negative 12. And we have 4x plus 8y equals negative 24. Thankfully, if you notice, for your x values or for your y values, do you notice any opposite or inverse values? Inverse. Opposites, plus and a minus. If you look a little closer, you actually have a negative 2 and a positive 8. But we also have a negative 4 and a positive 4. That's what you want. You want the negative and the positive of the same integer, and they'll cancel right out. I'll show you what I mean. We can literally just add them together like this. Put a plus sign on the outside. We know negative 4 plus 4 is 0, right? Yes. That's just going to cancel out and leave nothing there. We can ignore that 0 as well. We know negative 2 plus 8 is actually a positive 6. Yes, it's a positive 6y. Be very careful there. Make sure you do it with a calculator or without a calculator. And then what's negative 12 plus negative 24? Plus 2. 36. Negative 36. Yeah, so it's negative 36. Very good. Sorry. Well, it's okay. <laughs> negative 36. And now we just have a simple one-step equation we can solve for y pretty quickly. How do I solve that equation? Divide, very good. Yeah, I like that. You came, you came with a good the contribution. Divide by 6 on both sides, and you're right. Y equals what? 6 or negative 6? Negative 6. Negative 6. If you put positive 6, you'll be in a lot of trouble come down the road because the rest of the problem will be wrong, and you'll lose some time. So good. Negative 36 divided by positive 6 is negative 6. That's your Y value. You're halfway there. But we still have one more value to solve for. That's going to be the x value. All we're going to do is what's called substitution. And we're going to put this negative 6 in for y value either in the top equation or the bottom equation. Your choice doesn't matter which one you choose. Well, it's easier to use the top one, the negative signs, or the bottom one. Either one. Either one, right? So I'm going to so you don't get it. So are you going to make me choose? Okay, I'll choose. This is the bottom one, all right? I'll do the bottom one. So, I mean, me personally, I'll try to avoid negative numbers if at all possible. I'll use the positive numbers here. So we'll have 4x plus 
But not long. We're not gonna have y anymore. We saw we're getting rid of y and putting what there? Negative six. A negative six. So eight times negative six. Put in parentheses. So watch. We put eighty-six down. Equals negative twenty-four. See what we did? All we did was copy the exact same equation and switch the y value out for negative six. Negative Let's go ahead and work this out. You're exactly right. Eight times negative six. Negative forty-eight. Negative twenty-four. And now we have a two-step equation to solve. How do I solve that? Plus 48. Very good. Exactly. Let's go and start with our plus 48 to both sides. This is not nearly as bad as it looks. 4x equals, what is negative 24 plus 48? 24. It is 24. Very good. I like that. And what's my last step here? 6. Oh, you have to quit. Yeah, you're nice. Very good. When we divide both by both sides by four, we know that 24 divided by four is a positive or negative six. Positive six. And so we're all set. However, your answer will often be written as a coordinate pair. X comma y. In that format, what's my answer going to be? Six. six. What is it actually said? Six. 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 Yeah, we just found x is positive six. Oh, uh, six. Y is minus six. And y is negative six. Very good. And there's a good answer in there. But you can believe it. Take to the bank. You can bet your paycheck on that one. Yes, the whole thing. Next example, not so easy. We have 5x plus y equals 9, and 10x minus 7y equals negative 18. But, same concept, we have a system of equations here, two of them, with two different variables. And so some of you are caught on catching on. We don't have any opposites that cancel out. You have positive 5 and positive 10. That won't work. You sleepy already? And we have a 1y and a negative 7. So we have nothing that's going to cancel out yet. This is where your lowest common multiple uh, will come in handy. We need to find the lowest number these both can meet up or, 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 or multiply to. So uh, in your mind, I should, you should be thinking, which is going to be easier to match up or cancel out? 5 and 10 yes. or 1 and negative 7? Which is a... Five and ten, right? Five is much easier to cancel out, right? Mm -hmm. And so when you're thinking, what's the lowest number that both five and ten will go into? Two. Five, uh, five. You're, thinking, you're thinking of five. Oh, five. Well, ten can go into five. Five. Oh. What's the low number? Yeah. Which one? Seven. Like if you're counting about five, ten, fifteen, twenty, uh -huh. or ten, twenty, thirty, forty, what's the lowest number they both hit at or meet at? One. It's actually ten. Because two times five is ten, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then one times ten is ten. That's fine. I think mean, maybe you didn't know what I was asking you for. Right? So if, you're, if I'm saying to myself, I can make these both tens very easily. Now he's already a ten, right? Yes. How can I make this into a ten? Two. By two. But not just a ten. I need a negative ten, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. A positive two. ten. Negative two. Good. So make him a negative ten. I'm multiplying this entire equation by like negative two. Now they'll both meet up at 10 and they'll count each other out. We know negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. It was our whole plan in the first place. That part went well. What's negative 2 times y? Y. Only one. Negative 2y. Good, you're close. Not 2y, but minus 2y. You're close. That makes sense. No? Minus 2y. Negative 2 times y. And then what's negative 2 times 9? Negative 18. Negative 18. And now let's go ahead and add our equations together. We know 10 
plus negative 10 will just cancel out and leave nothing. Plus 9y. Well, is that positive 9? Negative 7 plus negative 2? Negative 9. Negative 9. Negative 9. Negative nine. That is a very common mistake. It's negative 9. Negative 9. And this area here? Negative 18 plus negative 18 is negative 36. Alright, and here we're right back at our one step equation. It's very simple. How do I solve that equation? What does that mean? Divide by 9. Everything across the board, 9. 9 or negative 9? Negative 9. Negative 9. What is y equal here? Positive. What is negative 36 divided by negative 9? You said it, say it louder. Positive. Positive. Positive 4. So back at the same point, take that positive 4, put it back in the equation. Um, again, your choice when you put it in 5x plus y equals 9. Or 10 minus 7y equals negative 18. Totally your fault. Mm, I'm going to go with the smaller numbers here. 5x plus y equals 9. I mean, we could do it the same way with this one, but I just, anyway, we have a chance to get smaller numbers, less mistakes. Let's roll with this one. Instead of 5x plus y, I'll have 5x plus what? Or we're, we're moving y. We found what y was. What was y? Four. So y was four. Four. Y is four. Four. Positive four. So when we're rewriting this. We're not going to write five x plus y. We're going to write five x plus four. Y value is four. Four equals nine. What now? Divide. Uh, Divide will be the last step. Right? Wow. Negative oh, four. Yeah, cancel. Negative four. 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 X equals 1. And so if I'm writing my answer as a coordinate pair, what am I writing? X, 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 X is 1. X is 1. Y is 4. That's a good answer there. Yeah. Again, you can bet the farm on that. What do you have a question about? Um, oh, is it a different one in this one? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, come, I'll, come, I'll come see you individually. Actually, what we do is we go on the board. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, before I get to that one, number 19, is it? Uh, is everyone, does anyone have a question about what just happened right there? No. Okay. What about 17? 17, 17, 17, what about? 17. 17 and X, X1 and minus 1. Let me know. Negative 5. How about 17? <laughs> X1. Yeah, we're getting it. Minus hey, you two. Know, what number you doing? Seventeen. Seventeen, okay. So look at number uh number seven. This is one of the harder ones because uh, if you notice, we definitely don't have any opposites lined up already. A negative seven and a negative four, that won't work. And a negative eight and a positive nine, that won't work either. And, unfortunately, our lowest common multiple is going to be simply multiply both equations by. And in all honesty, this is about an equal difficulty. We chose x or y, but the same amount of trouble. 7 and 4 and 8 or 9 are probably the same. I'm going to choose 7 and 4 for mm -hmm. lower numbers. Mm -hmm. 
What is the lowest common multiple, the lowest number that both 7 and 4 will multiply to? Well, it is 28. And so, what we want, we want one number to be a positive 28 and one to be a negative 28. So, what do you want to multiply this top one by to make it a positive 28? Positive 4. 3. And if you do by positive 4, you'll have a negative 20. Is that what you want to do? Negative 3. That make it 20 no. Four. Negative four. You want negative four so that you have a positive 28 right there. Yes. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Now four was right, mm -hmm. but that would give you a negative 28. We want a positive 28. So you're, you're right there. Times negative four. We'll go real slow. Negative four times negative seven is the positive 28 that we wanted. Negative four times negative eight. Plus 32. Very good. Y. And lastly, a negative 4 and a positive 9. Negative 36. Negative 36. All right. Now, we have our positive 28. How do I get a negative 28 right here from this one? 7. Yeah, we're going to multiply by a positive 7. Yes, yeah, very good. Seven times negative four is our negative twenty that we wanted. That's his plan. What is seven times nine? Negative six three. Let's be very careful here. Yeah, so the only times tables. Seven times nine is a positive sixty three. One. You'd be surprised how many you guys lose on that one right there. And what is seven? To, oh, this is a mess. What is seven times negative twenty-two? One hundred fifty-four. That sounds very believable. Very nice. <laughs> negative one, five, four. And now we can make this work. Twenty-eight plus negative twenty-eight. It's nothing, but you want it, right? Yes. This is 95 y. 95 y. Negative 36 plus negative 154 is negative 190. 95 2. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. 95. Uh, yeah, that's, that's your favorite step. <laughs> yeah, I want to get to the end, right? I want to get to the end. <laughs> I, I, um, I'm used uh, minus 4. Negative 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 Okay, this one the negative one, this one the positive one, mm -hmm. you do the exact same answer, right? Mm -hmm. As long as you multiply everything correctly and something cancels out in the end, mm -hmm. you'll get the exact same answer. Thanks for pointing that out. Oh, uh, right. so uh, well, we ain't going to have no problem with that then. No, there's more than one way to get this done. So anyway, we're about halfway. We have our negative two right here. Right. What's next? What should I do? You're going to uh, solve um, for uh, 28x. X. What do you mean by that? Oh, negative oh, 4x. Oh. Oh, you can pick one of them, them, them yeah. numbers up there. We can yeah. pick any, any other. Yeah, you can pick either one you like. <laughs> Let's use this one right here. This is the second one. So instead of negative 4x, negative 4x plus 9y, plus negative 4x plus 9 times what? Minus 95. 2. Minus 2. Negative 2. Negative 2. Equals negative 2. Negative 2. Plus 9. Negative 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 9. Four. Negative four. Negative four. Negative four. And this is equal to the positive one. Yeah, it's a long one. 
That's probably the one. So what's my answer here then? Mm -hmm. X, X one. X is one. Y, y, y is negative two. two. Got it. And that's about as bad as it gets. So if you can do that one, you can do pretty much any one of them at all. And that was quite a bit. So what I'll say to you is this. If that was a hot mess, but that was terribly like hard for you to understand, you have no idea what just transpired. What you can do is start with the ones that are like this one that already can't. That's okay. Start with the ones that already cancel out by themselves, and start there, real you know, baby steps, and then work your way towards these more progressively challenging ones. So what I'll do is this. Those of you who are ready for some more. Uh, some more difficult, more rigorous ones will come around and work with you on that. And those of you who want to start with the uh, more elementary ones, we'll go with that too. All right, so we'll, we'll make our way around it. Let's think about having a small group like that, right? We can see you individually pretty quickly. You ready?